Today we're talking about five tips on what not to do while selling your house. Today we're talking about five tips on what not to do when selling your home. Frequently we're talking about what to do, whether you're listing with an agent or not. Paint this, do that. But today I wanna talk about what not to do. The last tip is the most important tip, so stay all the way till the end. Hi friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jamie Schwartz. I'm a Hope Sound resident and realtor with Waterfront Properties. And on this channel, we talk about what it's like to live, work, and have fun here in Hope Sound and the surrounding areas. Tip number one, do not insulate your attic with blow insulation if you've not already done so. It is very difficult for an inspector to see what roofing materials you have and how it's connect, it's tied into the wall. And that's important when trying to prove that you deserve a credit on your roof with the insurance company. So if you're trying to get a, a credit for a roof that's been recently installed, but you have spray insulation in there and they can't prove that you have the correct tie downs and the correct materials, it's very difficult to prove it. And you might miss out on a credit on your insurance. That sucks. Tip number two, do not replace your pool heater. Once you go under contract, the number one thing that kills deals, the inspection. And a pool heater can be one of those items found that can kill your deal. So if your pool heater does not work, instead of replacing it, remove it. Take it down to the dump, get rid of it so the buyer never sees it. If a buyer sees a pool heater sitting out by the pool equipment, even if it doesn't work, they're going to assume it works. They're gonna write the offer thinking that it works. And then during the inspection, it's gonna come back that it doesn't work. And either they're gonna to try to get you to replace it with a new pool heater, which you'll never use because you're selling your house, or Two, they'll try and get a credit back so that they can buy one that they probably won't. So just try to eliminate the stress of inspections by getting rid of your pool heater if it does not work. Tip number three, don't go and add a pool. If your property uh, does not have a pool, and there's a lot of buyers that come to Florida and they want a pool, but if your property doesn't have a pool, it's gonna cost so much money putting a pool in just for you to leave. And a pools are kind of like a, a brand new car. Once you pull it off the lot, you lose value. Pools are very similar when it comes to that. So my suggestion would be go to the county and ask them, can a pool be put in here? And if they say yes, then contact a pool professional. Here I use Almar Jackson pools with almost all of mine and um, ask them to draw up a rendering, pay for them to draw up a rendering. That way you can show a buyer what it might look like with a pool put in or what pool option might be a great option for them. Tip number four, we discussed one of the big killers when selling your house is the inspection, right? Well, after the inspection, the title companies or the attorneys are going to run permit checks and lien searches. And if you have an open permit, that might cause a massive headache for you. Whether it's your, let's say you had a pool put in five years ago and the builder never closed out the permit, that's gonna cause a big bump in your sale transaction. So at that point, you're already finding a house that you love, you're already moving, you're jumping through hoops, you're concerned about appraisals, you already made it through your inspection, which was super stressful, you're packing, you're going through all of this on top of your daily lives, and now you have to deal with an open permit. That means going to the county, contacting the builder, having inspections, going through all of that, and you're paying. Why not just in the beginning when you decide to sell your home, call the county, find out if there's any open permits, find out if there's a lien on your home, take care of it in the beginning. That way, once you get past your inspection and your appraisal, it's smooth sailing and there's no more speed bumps that are gonna knock you off your feet when you're near the end of your closing. Before I tell you the fifth and most important tip, I just wanna remind you that I love hearing from you. I love getting texts. I love getting calls. I love getting emails from all of you 
When you're ready, give me a call. Let's develop this friendship now so when the time comes, we're ready to roll. The last and final tip, tip five. Do not hide anything. Disclose, disclose, disclose. It is so important you tell the buyers everything about your house. Do not hide anything. There are rules against that. There's laws against that. That is, the worst thing you could do is to not tell them that your house floods in a rain or that there's a structural issue or that your roof has uh, leaks in it. You've had mold, you know, like there's lots of things. A lot of people think if I just spray some bleach over this and paint it and forget about it, like that's what's best, but you're hiding a problem that affects the value of this home or the integrity of this home or your home and it's going to come back and bite you in the butt. There's laws against that. And then your house is going to be tied up. If you haven't already closed on it, your house will be tied up and you can't resell it or you'll have liens on your new home. You'll be tied up in court for a long, long time. You'll spend thousands and thousands and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars paying for attorneys, trying to fix the problem that could have been avoided in the first place. There are laws that require the owners to disclose if there's any hazardous issues or any issues that affect the value of your home. So it is best to disclose everything. And that is probably the most important reason why you need to work with a real estate agent when buying or selling your home because there are a lot of legal issues that go on, whether it's with the contract or whether it's with a disclosure that you should have been given. Um, all of those things are things that real estate professionals are trained to deal with. And they know ahead of time before a problem is going to come up if they're a proven agent. There are tons of agents that are new to this game or don't do it a lot, and they're not going to be able to help you out. But find an agent that has a proven track record and they'll be able to make sure that you are doing the right things by your transaction. You'll be making all your deadlines on time. You'll be submitting all the correct paperwork on time. And it's a smooth and semi-stress-free. I mean, it's never going to be perfect. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. But somewhat as stress-free as possible. For more tips on how to sell your home, click here. And for tips about what to do in Hope Sound or the surrounding areas, click here. Thanks.